That's the culture part, right? Mm -hmm. So the question is, do the whales have culture? It's honestly one of my favorite papers in animal behavior. Okay. It was in 2021 out of the Royal Society. What it did was analyze 19th century American whaler logbooks in the North Pacific Ocean. Okay. Okay. And these whalers kept meticulous lab notes when they went out in the field to try to kill sperm whales. You'd okay? love, love to see it. You'd go with your ship powered by a sail. You'd spot some whales and then you'd go out down in these duffies and try to harpoon them, the whales. Yes. And then if you harpooned one, you'd bring it back to the ship yes. for extraction. Yes. Okay. What they noticed was the success rate plummeted from when they first got there. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. On the top, you've got a map of, of all of the spots that they've been. There you've got the rate at which you're, you're able to kill whales. Yes. Okay? Yes. And the rate was diminishing. Now, there's four ways we can think about it. One is just the first guys who went were just good at it. They were LeBron and you're not LeBron. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because we have the logbooks from the same whalers that go to, right. and they get the baseline rate, okay? This is the North Pacific. So this has this is a harvesting ground for whales that it hasn't been extracted before, mm -hmm. right? Whaling has been around for, for centuries in the North Atlantic, right? Yes. Europeans have been at it forever. Yes. Second one is um, the first whales that were taken out were these juvenile sort of slower, let's say, or or they they weren't they weren't very good yeah, yeah. at getting away. Yeah. That also is something that we can model, right? Like the the slower whales in a population die out, how would the rate decrease then right. if if it's some right. sort of random strategy? Right. Okay? okay. The third one is the whales learn from personal experience. Meaning, I'm part of a pod that had this crazy thing happen to me yes. where a bunch of our pod got shot. Yes. In the ocean and then and then got extracted and so now i'm never gonna have that happen to my pot again and then the fourth one is the is the best one okay it's that the whales learned between unit learning meaning there was a pod that i ran into yesterday yeah that had that experience yeah. they told me about it and they told me how to get away so there's there's a transferring exactly socially of learning without having to physically or literally experience. And that's the culture part. They did mathematical modeling yes. based on these three hypotheses. Yes. And the one that had the best fit was the one where the whales adapted, learned, and shared defensive knowledge. The rate of decrease of efficacy of the hunting was so steep that it couldn't have just been from personal experience because mm -hmm. there wasn't enough volume yeah. for personal experience to, to be the, the, the trigger. In their whaler journals, they showed that the whales went for new tactics. For example, if they know which way the, the wind is, just swim opposite direction of the wind. Oh, because they know we can oh. They figured out That's that these crazy. guys th that these guys can only go in the direction, direction of, of the, the wind, wind with their big ship.